Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be doing long-term storage for sugar. This is very quick and very simple. So this will not be a long video. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you join the family. So let's get into the video. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me. I got this bucket from the Walmart. I paid one dollar for it. It's a 35 pound bucket. Um, it's not just any bucket. It's one with a gamma seal. So I have a rubber gasket that you can see up in here. You want to have one that has that gasket in it. I paid $4.78 for these. These are 10 pound bags. Whoa. So these are 10 pound bags and very heavy. So the one thing you wanna make sure is you, when you get your container, if any container, whether it's new or whether you got it from the bakery at Walmart or Publix or anywhere, you wanna make sure it's good and clean because this one had icing in it and you wanna scrub it really well. Let it dry out for some days. That's what I did. This has been dry. I washed this last week, y'all. I wanted to make sure it was good and dry. Another thing, when you're storing long-term sugar, you do not have to use oxygen absorbers because that will make your sugar rock hard and that is not what you want. So what you want with the white sugar is no oxygen absorbers. Make sure your container is good and dry and that's it. Y'all, I thought my husband was coming in on Friday and he called me just now. I was like, I'm 40 minutes away. So basically I'm putting uh, 20 pounds of sugar in this 35 pound um, bucket. So I will probably, I will not probably, I will be adding another bag to this. And again, do not put oxygen absorbers in this bag. The thing with white sugar, you want it to stay dry. Moisture is the thing you don't want. And I know you're not gonna be able to see it because it's washed out, but it came up to here. So I will be adding one more bag and that will fill this up and I won't need sugar for a while. Another way that I'm storing it, so another way that I'm storing my sugar is using this container right here. As you can see, I had pretzels in here. I got this from Sam's Club. Y'all have to clean my table with this sugar on it. And so, um, I wasn't done with the pretzels that was in it. I took the pretzels out of it. I only had like a few left anyway. So I took them out, put them in a separate bag in the um, prepper pantry. And then I put some sugar in here as well. So all I have to do, and see, this is what I'll do. I'll go ahead and fill this up with my everyday use sugar. good and full so that was about in right there by itself so now all i have to fill is this container right here for our everyday use this sugar right here is now up to here and so it is good and we will close it up make sure everything is dry y'all before you do this make sure you hear those snaps so that is done now i'm going to show you brown sugar so like I said with the white sugar you want to make sure you don't have any moisture in it because moisture um, as they say is your enemy when it comes to white sugar but when you have brown sugar like this once you open it if you want to store it you need to store it in a seal tight container um, it can tend to get hard 
if you haven't noticed that sometimes if you open it and you don't close it up well that air will make it dry and so that will make it hard and one way to um, get your brown sugar to not be hard is to put a loaf of bread not a loaf of bread a slice of bread inside of your bag or whatever you're keeping it in and that should take the moisture or put the moisture into your um brown sugar because brown sugar needs moisture not soaking wet it just needs moisture white sugar needs no moisture so that's how you keep this from um getting so that's how you're going to keep this right here from hardening up no oxygen absorbers in your white sugar and that's how you keep it from hardening up and then once you open your bag you you can put it in a container like this right here this is what i'm keeping my everyday use flour in i haven't um stocked up and well i haven't canned any flour as of lately as you know i did can flour in the um, jars i'm trying to get away from using my jars as much as possible because they're so hard to come by and when i say jars i mean your canning jars because i do want to can um this summer and i don't want to be fighting with oh can i find jars to can my um fruits and meats so that's the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed it like i said it was a quick easy video please make sure you stock up because this stuff right here was not on the shelf um in january like the first week of january it's still january y'all but this was not on the shelf at all. It was very hard to find sugar. And in some cases it was hard to find flour, maybe because the holidays and all of that, but that's what it is and that's what it was. And so now I have mine and I'm good. This will go in my emergency pan um, pantry and I will definitely get me another 10 pound bag and put in here and this will be our use. So we don't use sugar that much, you know, maybe making lemonade or something like that, but Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all on the other side tomorrow. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be, and go out and spread God's love with distance. Bye, y'all. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting to deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight